prosecutor and the court at his plea hearing um, that a failure to abide by any of the terms would constitute a violation of the agreement and he was notified that the entirety of his probation could be revoked. I do appreciate the fact that um, this particular violation is a nonviolent violation. Um, but I also appreciate the fact that um, some of the many reasons why this could have occurred uh, include the fact that there is just not a proper regard for um, the judicial system and the seriousness with which um, an oath in court needs to be taken. Um, I actually view this much more akin to perjury, frankly, than a technical violation. And the sentence for perjury is up to 10 years. Uh, I am going to revoke five years of Mr. Sledge's probation. And Mr. Sledge, I am sympathetic to the fact that you um, have generally stayed out of trouble in and I want to commend you for that. Um, and I really hope that this revocation doesn't set you back. Um, but we've, we've got to take seriously the court system. So that's the sentence of the court. Um, I find there to have been that violation. I'm revoking five years. Fidelity National Home Warranty, brought to you by Todd Powell, your local home warranty superhero. turn himself in to make arrangements. I think he ate the balance. Your Thank you. Might I ask? Take seriously the court system. So that's the sentence of the court. Um, I find there to have been that violation. I'm revoking five years. And reinstating and he will be the continued balance. On probation, and, yeah, um, and reinstate the balance. Your Thank you. Might I ask, is it possible for my client to turn himself in to make arrangements? I think y'all knew when you came in here that this was a strong possibility. So, no, I'm sorry. All right, court is adjourned. <laughs>